Now we're going to stay with tech and if you think about technology you'll probably think of microchips, smartphones, robots, even driverless cars. Maybe not hair dryers. Well GHD, that's the maker of pricey hair straighteners and other styling products, says that innovation is the only way to stay ahead of the competition. It's investing heavily in research and development at its site in Cambridge. It employs more than 100 engineers and scientists there. Well since taking over the top job in 2018 the new boss says he's doubled investment and is on track to double it again in the next few years. So let's speak to him. Uh, Jerome Temmerman is the chief executive of GHD. Uh, Jerome, good to have you with us. Um, um, as I said in that Thank introduction, it's not the sort of industry, it's not a sector that I would associate with a lot of R&D. So why this big push on innovation? Yeah, so it's, you know, GSD was started 20 years ago by two British entrepreneurs that brought this technology to, to England. And there we are 20 years later, we are in more than 30 countries. We are in more than 40,000 stores around the world. We are professional endorsed uh, number one leader brand around the world. And as you just mentioned, our R&D center is in Cambridge. We're already for 20 years. We invest purely as a company in heat and hair. As a result of that, we have now a styler that has the algorithm and has the smart plates to, to adapt those plates 24, 25, 250 times a second to have the perfect styling temperature of 185 degrees, which is stronger hair, more shine, and obviously perfect style. And another consequence is, and as you just mentioned as well, is that we just brought to market a breakthrough launch here in London three weeks ago, where we combine it also with air, where we have the first no damage hot air styler of the world. So we are extremely proud to bring that all to the consumers around the world. How would you describe yourself as a business? Are you a tech firm or a beauty business? I think it's the, the sweet spot is that it's a beauty tech business. I think we are we are working as Good Hair Day. We bring Good Hair Days to the world, right? That's where GSD stands for. So it's that sweet spot of beauty needs of women around the world, together with the tech of Cambridge that is in the product. And I think that a big trend that we see as a company is the development of that beauty tech need of the end consumers around the world. So I think that GHD is exactly with that focus in that combination of beauty tech, very well positioned to grow very fast mm. in the coming years ahead of us. Um, you did pretty well in the pandemic, of course. You know, hair salons were closed. People were doing much more at home. Um, if you look at the economic landscape right now, does it worry you? A cost of living squeeze, people have less money in their pocket. Are they going to buy your pricey stuff right now? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not worried. I, I think that we, I, I do things on that. I think, first of all, that GHD as a business model shows their resilience during the pandemic and other points of a crisis. For example, we the turnover went from 240 million to 400 million. You mentioned that we doubled our investment. So that's one, the resilience of the business model. The second thing is what I learned of 25 years in the beauty industry, that it's very resilient to different crises around the yeah. world. People do want to look for products that bring added uh -huh. value to them, even in complex times. Uh, Jerome, it's really good to talk to you. Uh, time is tight, but uh, thanks for being with us on World Business Report. That's the boss there of GHD.